so this question is asking for the name of the following compound okay so they want NH4 to S so for this same thing applies we want to see whether we're dealing with um, Ooh, this is one is a little bit tricky because this is technically a covalent compound, but because it's a specific type, we have to recognize that. So this NH4 here, we have to memorize it and recognize it as ammonium. And ammonium doesn't abide by the same rules of what when we um, have like a covalent compound we have to um, you know indicate the quantity of them so you will never see like something like diammonium ammonium itself works almost like a metal if that makes sense at least with the naming okay with the naming it's the metal component so it wouldn't need to you would need to indicate how many you have so that's why it just stays as ammonium okay so right now we have ammonium now this is known as sulfur okay that's sulfur but as we will say so you don't just put sulfur down here you need to be able to indicate how many or oh, sorry you need to be able to change the ending to where you have the I B E so it will be ammonium sulfide okay so with that being said okay this will be just as a review ammonium is known as the nh4 plus sulfide is known as the s2 minus which is why together um, i'm going to make this red just so we have to compare the metal and the non-metal parts that's why you need two ammoniums which is what's happening here two ammoniums to be able to match with the sulfide which is how we get ammonium sulfide so with that being said Ammonium sulfate, that wouldn't be it. Sulfate is SO4 to minus, that's the sulfate ion. So B is looking better. Hydronium would be H3O plus, that's hydronium. And D, no correct response, we can't use that because indeed our answer is found in B. B is our correct answer. So exactly, they try to follow the rules for naming molecular compounds. So, but in this case, because ammonia, ammonium follows its own rules, we can't really use that because you will see that you want to include the mono, di, and everything else, but you would not do that for ammonium. So with that being said, ammonium sulfide is the answer. You would not see diammonium sulfide ever because this is one of the exceptions to where it almost follows the name rules of an ionic compound even though it's a molecular covalent compound okay now question number